Okay, so today I am looking at Zubuntu 11.10. Now, the only reason I'm looking at Zubuntu this time is because it's been a while since I've checked out an X XFCE desktop. And, uh, and honestly, I haven't actually used Zubuntu as a primary operating system for some time now. Now, as you can see, this is not the default look of Zubuntu. So for all dem demonstrative purposes, I will switch it back to the, uh, to the original wallpaper, which is the same one from Natty, uh, from the Natty release. Now, Zubuntu 11.10 basically uh, is a lightweight desktop environment, as most of you would be aware, but it also integrates a lot of uh, the GTK3 libraries in there. So you do have uh, a lot of the GTK3 um, simplifications that have been made in Ubuntu 11.10, but this system is, is is extremely snappy and it's not and it's not known by any means. It's its own beast, and it has been growing quietly and steadily over the last couple of years. And, uh, and it, we're at release 4.8 currently at the moment. Now, XFCE does not release uh, updates very often, but when it does, they're usually quite significant. So some time ago, we did have XFCE 4.8, and they uh, added a number of features to it, which uh, is really starting to appeal to a lot of the GNOME 2 users that uh, that need the, the, the customization and the, and the lightweight uh, abilities of GNOME 2 that have since been lost to GNOME 3 uh, and of course Ubuntu Unity built on top of GNOME 3. Um, but XFCE is uh, a very lightweight environment, it's incredibly snappy and you can actually load compiz so you can get all your fancy desktop effects and stuff on top of that. Now, basically, uh, as far as layout is concerned, we've got your menu here, which is on the top right hand corner, and then you've got a nice little dock panel kind of thing down the bottom here that automatically hides and pops up depending on what you want. Um, so you've just got quick links to all the, all the frequently used applications down the bottom here, and then you've got a nice little pop up here with all your files and folders that you can, uh, that you can mouse into and go from there. Now, um, now, at the moment, I am using Zubuntu as my primary operating system, mainly because I just like the speed of it. And uh, and honestly, with all the stuff that's been going on with GNOME 3 and with Unity, I've been using them a lot. Uh, it's actually nice to get back to, to a more traditional desktop and uh, and enjoy the benefits thereof. Now, the only add that I, uh, the only thing that I've added to uh, sort of expand the functionality a bit is Synapse, which is the keyboard app launcher. So if I simply start typing, I can launch an app, which is what I usually do anyway. But uh, this app, uh, this operating system is very speedy, but it really benefits from all the stuff that you would expect to see from Ubuntu. So that means we do get the Ubuntu Software Center, and we do get most of the application release updates that come out along with the rest of the Ubuntu family. Uh, now I have installed a lot of extra stuff here, so uh, just to just to name a few. The, the application launch speed here is quite impressive. Um, I've installed LibreOffice on top. Um, by default, you just get Abbey Word and Genumeric, uh, and you do get a few Orage tools which are XFCE specific. Now, the one thing that I do really like about XFCE, that is the panels. Now, a lot of people were complaining about the fact that GNOME 3 panels aren't very customizable. Well, here, XFCE is really picking up where GNOME 2 left off, and they do have some fantastic little applets here that you can add to the panel. Now, you can also see the panel is now highlighted, and we have the option of adding whatever we want up here to make things nice and easy to access. So I've got all sorts of crazy little applets here, which, uh, which will fill the void of many a GNOME 2 user who have since lost that functionality. Now, our workspaces are here as well, so I've got two workspaces running at the moment. You can have, of course, up to as many as you want, and you can customize them in what order you want. Uh, we've got the logout, login menu up here with all your suspend and hibernate and all that fun stuff. And then you've got all your indicator applets along the side here, and I've also added a disk mounter here as well. Um, now, the other thing I want to talk about with XFC is their settings manager. Now, the settings manager is uh, of XFC is actually quite comprehensive. Uh, we have a lot of different categories here that you can manage all the stuff you really want to. So you've got your desktop settings here where you can choose, uh, and you can also access the same thing here by clicking on right-clicking the desktop and hitting the desktop settings. That's all fun stuff. Uh, like the wallpapers and so forth and so on. One little nice touch that I did notice about the wallpapers is that when you go into the uh, wallpapers, it'll instantly come up with your recently used. So any images that you've looked at uh, in the last however many sessions you've logged in, it will show them up. So it makes it very easy and convenient to add new wallpapers. So major kudos for that, because that's a real inconvenience going um, digging through your file system looking for your favorite wallpaper. Uh, you can customize what icons you have on the desktop. You can customize the menus. Really, this is this is GTK uh, this is GTK three, but with GNOME 2's customization levels, which is pretty fantastic. Uh, you've got your mouse, so where you can customize your touchpad settings and all that fun stuff. 
And then you've got your file manager display notifications panel. You guys can read, you can see for yourself. Um, now, the other nice thing here is that the window manager tweaks, you can turn on compositing. Uh, it is just simple compositing. You can turn on uh, transparencies for the panels or for the windows, depending on what you want to do. Um, but you can also install compiz here and use that as the window manager. So you can still have fancy desktop effects in XFC as well. Uh, of course, it does require a little bit more system resources than what it usually will. But having said that, you've got so much to spare with XFC, you're not really going to notice unless you have a very old machine. Um, so really XFC at the end of the day is uh, is what a lot of GNOME 2 users are going to, including uh, Linus Torvalds himself uh, is, is claimed he has migrated to XFC as his default desktop environment. And really, I don't think you're missing too much here as far as functionality from uh, GNOME 2. It is a slight bit different and it will take a little bit of time for adjustment, but not half as much as uh, experienced users will take to get used to something like Unity and GNOME Shell. Um, really, this is this is a very nice option. It's working very well for me at the moment. Uh, I think progressively, a lot of other experienced uh, Linux users, I do not claim to be experienced, but a lot of other experienced Linux users are finding uh, Zubuntu and XFC a much more usable option for Ubuntu at this stage. Uh, now, you do get, uh, you also get Synaptic uh, included by default, which is always nice. Um, but really, it, it aims to be just a lighter version of Ubuntu with that, uh, with the same, with not really changing much as far as the user experience is concerned. I'm hoping that Ubuntu keeps this vision, and uh, with the little innovations here, like the panel down the bottom that provides a nice simple dock, uh, and then even like the uh, the quick file access on the side here, your trash can and all the notifications, they all work the same way that they used to as in GNOME 2. But uh, of course it is XFCE. As far as boot time is concerned, it does actually reduce the boot time quite a bit, not having a uh, quite a bulky operating system there to log into. Um, so boot time is actually quite a bit quicker than uh, Ubuntu 11.10. So definitely worth checking out if you are a fan of the GNOME 2 experience. And of course, you can customize and add as many panels, widgets, applets as you want. Uh, it's basically your own desktop. You can do what you like with it. And, uh, and I think that's really the beauty of Zubuntu here. I will be having an OpenSUSE 12.1 review in the works in, uh, in the very near future. As soon as I can get around to reviewing those, I will be doing both the KDE and the GNOME 3 experiences. They are both quite slick, and it is going to be coming out. Uh, OpenSUSE 12.1 will be coming out within the next uh, two weeks, I think. So from the time you watch this video. So thank you again all for watching. Uh, click the like button if indeed you did like the video. It helps out the show here, and it gives me encouragement as well. Bless your faces, and I will see you next time.